below this video 120 where we will deal with reading in DXF files. Before I read it into UCAMX, what I like to do is actually open that file up in a viewer, a DXF viewer. And I like to use the original, the one from the makers of DXF, Autodesk. So when I bring in the DXF file, one of the first things that I see is there are different colors. That is immediately a giveaway as to are there multiple layers available. And when I see, uh, when I look at the layers properties, there are several layers available which will each come over in one way, form or another into UCAMX. So let's look at one of these um, by itself. And one of the reason why I would like to read it in first into the DXF viewer is that it will give me an idea as to is this a metric file, which is often the case with DXF, or is it an inch file, an imperial file? In this case, we are seeing dimensions that tell me, well, this is going to be inches. Sometimes, the, sometimes the, the dimensions that they show are not matching up with the actual dimensions. It's just a drawing, because that's what DXF is. It's a drawing exchange format. So if I measure from one line to the other, if I do this properly, distance from here to there, we are getting a three in delta and y over here so that means it's going to be inches so let's switch over to a ucamx here we have the job already created we're going to open up the dxf files also with the smart start just like we do with gerber and one of the first things you what you notice over here is that i have not just the dxf file which i read in which i picked up with the add files but i also have real files and those real files actually help the system out in telling it what kind of format we are talking about. These pre-made files are always coming up. I have a setting for that, which is in the ucam.db. And it's called imp.path.wheel. You can specify a folder on your system where you store these uh, standard real files and they will always show up when you open up Smart Start. If you're not familiar with the UCAMDB editor, look at one of the advanced sessions where we'll go into detail about the UCAMDB editor. For now, just accept that this is a setting that makes sure that DXF inch and DXF millimeter always show up. What's inside here, when I double click, it just says that it's DXF, the coordinates are inches, the zeros are leading, ASCII absolute. So I link these two together and I convert the job. There are messages, layer validations, telling me that there are undefined apertures on different layers. And it also tells me that a particular style that is inside this a text style that is being used inside this DXF file is not supported. Now what we'll do when we can, we will convert it into our own fonts, into the DXF, uh, into the DPF fonts, and when we look at the nodes, for example, you see that there is that the nodes did come over, even though they were written in M, in M text. One of the first things I would like to do is look at my uh, dimensions and double check to make sure that I indeed have um, also three inches over here. Now, I don't see those lines that I'm seeing over here. We did get a message about undefined apertures. When we look at that in the list, there is an undefined. And what you can do to visualize these is you change these to a circle of one inch. And now you have those lines. And if you want to double check, you can measure from here to here. And indeed, we have three inches. So our conversion format is correct. So let's go over a couple of other things now. Um, first of all, why are these lines uh, undefined? Well, actually in the DXF, if you would investigate those lines, you will find out that they don't have a dimension specified to them. So there is a command here that we can quickly use. And 
to the, the lines that are specified, there is no thickness. So let's take that off. Because that is just a quick uh, show on doing things. Um, and this is uh, me not being familiar with the Autodesk. So that has no nothing to do with the conversions, of course. There we go. So one of the things that we can do, since there are multiple ones of these on defines, I actually created a little script that will go over all the layers and will convert those undefined apertures into circles of one mil. Um, so now we have, uh, for example, also the holes over here. Let's have a quick look at those. You see that we have very nice holes in the UCAMX versus in the DXF when you would have a, look, a closer look. You will see that those are actually very roughly uh, drawn over here, but uh, we are able to find the information on that. You see radius is 60, again, 60 mils, and that same aperture over here is 120. So perfectly converted. So typically what you do now is, of course, you would uh, you take the information here, everything that has to do with the drawing, I'll grab all of those layers, dimensions, IDs, and I will merge those together, for example, into the ID layer, merge like that, that gives me a layer that I would probably call a help layer. So let's assign that. And then we have the holes. Well, those are obviously, that's a drill file. Played it. Here we go. Then we have a metal which is going to be, I'm just going to call it comp in this case. And we have a fab, which actually would be very useful for us to use as an outline. So let's make that into an outline. And that all pretty much gives me my structure. Now you see that this is the way it came in from DXF. That's exactly the way it is over here. So if I look at the metal, isolate that and look at it uh, with the extended view, you see that that's exactly the same way, but that's not how you would treat this layer. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a copy of this, a copy of our outline, paste it together. And then we use the tools in our system to clean this up, for example. Let's just slip it there. So I'm basically removing the extra segments. And if you're not familiar with this tool that I'm using here, don't worry about it. There's a video that goes in all the details about the toolbox. That almost looks like I have a solid area. If I would now actually want to have this into metal, we can try to actually create um, first we're gonna merge them together and then see if we can change them into a contour and if we get a solid image already so i'm getting some open contours no problems what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna change this back and i'm gonna run one more one other one of my tools 
that is actually part of my routes. I'm going to do a cleanup. There we go. I don't need to see these. Change it to a contour now. And there we go. So I just took a DXF file, which is basically just a drawing. Because again, that's what it is. Drawing exchange format. It's not really suitable to describe PCBs in or uh, any kind of designs. But we can take this information, take everything that we have over here and turn this into workable data. That concludes video 120.